Can you dig it? Yes, we can. A can you dig it? Yes, we can. Is Khan out? No, he's not. Okay, sorry guys. For OB68 fans and people who were addicted to the spoilers and the leaks and the data mines and all that stuff, there is a little bit of a disappointment here in OB68. Khan is not arriving this patch. I told you I tried to hint at it. Don't believe everything you see, but he is guaranteed for next patch, so do not fret, do not worry. The new champion in Paladins will be coming out shortly. However, this patch brings with it its own amazing set of additions to Paladins, including its first ever big event themed around a brand new map, some amazing new skins, and obviously balance changes that will shake the world as well as the introduction or reintroduction of Ranked Season 2. I'm happy, Rande, but I feel like my whole life is a lie. Like I said, Jimmy, Khan is coming out in OB69. Oh, by the way, you're adopted. Wait, what? So moving on to the first map, you've been seeing a little bit of the history and the lore cinematic right as this video started playing. It's a beautiful map called the Siege of Ascension Peak. A cool thing about this map, if you watch the cinematic, you'll understand, is this is actually where Genos ascended into the stars. He got all this heavenly knowledge, came back down, and actually helped to enlighten Buck, the monk, with this knowledge as well. One of the interesting parts about this map is it is kind of taking place in the time period where Khan and Leon, Khan being the general of Leon's house Ico and the Ruby Throne, actually tried to gather Genos' support for their army. So they're sieging Ascension Peak. They're, they're sieging this mountaintop, so to speak, where Genos and, and Buck are uh, in order to uh, take it over and to, to, to gain their powers and, and be obviously even more powerful. It's a really cool theme around it and it's beautifully done. So this is going to be an exciting map. It's going to uh, be introduced in OB68. I cannot wait to play it and can't wait for you guys to see it as well. As far as playstyle, at least from my experience in dev, this map doesn't play like any other map, so the meta of it will evolve as players get on it in live. It's just not something that is comparable as easily like Bright Marsh and Jaguar Falls are comparable. The same champions that you know and love may not work here in the same combinations as any other map, so you're going to have to discover that as it comes out, which is a big bonus for me, and it's going to give a lot of replayability early on for this. Now, launching with the map, there is also a brand new game mode. This is pretty exciting too, because it's going to feature the Magistrate versus the Resistance. You can play as one character on either side, either the Magistrate or the Resistance, and your cooldowns, they're going to be like cut in half. It's insanely fun. You're spamming abilities. You can still buy items. It's essentially a onslaught game, I think. Uh, so you'll be counting up points on the objective and just having fun, but in a lorry kind of way. I think they've also introduced some special effects, maybe even some fireballs coming from the sky to simulate an actual siege going on. So this is definitely something to look forward to. And if you have a chance when you get in the game, to try out with your friends. One of the best things about this and things like this is it's finally starting to get the lore and paladins fleshed out. It's finally starting to give meaning and, and emotion to a lot of these characters, which are so cool, but we just don't know anything about them. And now starting to see these struggles, these stories, these narratives takes place as a caster who creates narratives about players and games all the time when I'm casting the Paladins Premier League. It's exciting to see that actually fleshed out and happening in game as well. Now, starting off, we've got a brand new launch of skins as well introduced in this patch. First one, one is Academic Sky, and boy, oh boy, she's a lot of fun. Obviously, she's got a skirt, so brownie points for that. Got a little backpack as well, and just going to school and getting the work done. It's, it's, it's the classic student that trains after school instead of in soccer, just in terms of like slaying bad guys or, you know, slaying good guys, depending on which side you are on, at Resistance or the Magistrate. It's really cool. It's a great skin, and this is something that's coming new for Sky heading into OB68. Moving on to our next skin, I'm sure it's going to be a fan favorite, Jade Priestess Ceres, looking like she never misses a day of Ab Ripper X, while also uh, making use of some good body paint. Might see her on Twitch or something in, you know, the IRL section trying to show off some of that. She's doing a great job of hoisting what feels like a serpent in that in that globe of hers while also having a dragon behind her. It's not something that a lot of people can pull off the serpent dragon combo, but Jade Priestess Ceres is certainly doing that and with her eyes closed as well. One of the people I'm so excited about seeing her lore because it's really cool. I, we actually had Garrett Hires Martini walk us through most of it and a lot of it hasn't been released yet, but what a cool story she's got into the realm and uh, this skin, another great showcase of her and a great 
great character right now. A lot of great legendaries. Void Abide's good. I've got a video that you're probably watching on Void Abides, so this is a pretty, pretty good skin to be introduced into the realm at this time. Now, we've talked about the ladies, and, and they've gotten their due of skins. It's time to get into some of the fellas. Who's getting represented here? Of course, you're talking about uh, the Siege of Ascension Peak. Zen has to get some love, and it's Demon Slayer Zen coming out into the realm. Just taking a look at this art. So beautiful, the way that uh, he is obviously given that white, long hair, that huge red sword, and that whole Oni vibe, right, of, of kind of fighting the demon, and that demon is going to look a little bit familiar. If you notice that weapon, kind of looks like a star splitter, doesn't it? Uh, I'm teasing I'm teasing the next skin here very shortly, uh, but Zen, totally renewed, uh, invigorated with this choice of cosmetics, and you can grab Demon Slayer coming out in this patch, one of my favorites for sure. And as I hinted, the final skin that's going to be coming out this patch, Soul Eater Genos. My goodness, my god, how good does this thing look? I mean, the bicep. If I could do bicep curls and get that going, just the just a little bit of lava, please. That's all I'm asking for, Mother Nature. A little bit of lava coming out of the hands. I don't know how he does it, but he makes it look cool, graceful, but also extremely, extremely deadly and dark. And that's what I love. You can see the little eye popping out of the star splitter that makes this, I think, even cooler in terms of the details that are attached with the skin. One of my favorites, Genos, an extremely popular character, the character everybody likes to play when they have to pick support, that or Pip. It's like, oh, I gotta play support, but I don't really want to play support, so I'll play Genos and just shoot people. This is gonna be a great skin for everybody in that realm, and a very exciting addition uh, for me to see come through. And again, just showing how the caliber of skins are really, really starting to go up. Um, great skins already in the game but it seems like everything is just always improving here so Rene, how do i get these skins there is a quest to unlock each skin you're gonna have to do some things in game in order to get them so get ready to play some paladins in ob68 in order to get all of these great mamma jammas that i've just shown and described to you all but it will be worth it obviously more information when the patch launches in ob68 we've talked about this on the ob68 patch note show and this should be i believe in the patch notes and if not i'll be covering it in the future on how to unlock these skins on the channel so let's take a quick litmus test what's your favorite skin thus far let me know in the comment section below what are you looking forward to the most you liking the map uh, are you loving the lore cinematic what's your kind of hot topic this patch thus far and make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to stay tuned for more videos like this hit the notification bell and turn on notifications also if you want to make sure you get every video that I upload all right now because I'm a caster I'm getting a little excited because it's time to talk about ranked if you are a fan of ranked in any game that you play paladins has an amazing ranked community and a really really fun opportunity to get involved in a hero shooter ranked experience if you have not before in fact one of the great things about paladins is, is a lot of the community actually plays ranked especially when season one launched we had a very large population in comparison to most games playing ranked so it's a, it's a great environment to get into and really fleshes out the the descriptive the differences, the, the the beautiful synergies that you can make within loadouts, within champions, and within team compositions that Paladins offers. So, a couple of points about Season 2. One, we're adding portrait changes uh, in the future. So, whatever you actually earn in this season's ranked, whether it be your placements or whether you continue grinding up, will be your portrait when you load into a match. Now, last season, Season 1, will not count, but whatever you get to this season will actually be kind of what people see you loading in as. So, if you can get to Grandmaster this season, that's going to be what your portrait looks like it's not going to decay down to platinum or, or or gold or anything like that which is going to be pretty exciting and i think another incentive for people to really grind because they know that's going to stay with them as far as a visual appeal. another big note is that there are going to be less placement matches than before it used to be 15 now there are 10 and it's going to be a bit of a soft reset soft resets mean that people will be reset to kind of a nearer division than when they were last but it won't be that it's this full reset where everyone's at zero it's still going to kind of place better players who have performed high Higher in ranked before we have a higher elo in the system it's going to place them near each other and, and place lower players who are a little bit less involved and, and experienced with each other as well instead of kind of saying everyone's at zero which is what a hard reset does uh, there are also going to be the addition of four bands and this means that we'll have two additional bands than before so it used to be two now there are four so some more characters to play in your draft around and uh, try and figure out how do I counter what the enemy team is putting together 
As far as balance notes, I know this has been covered on YouTube before, but if you do not know, a lot of the changes have happened holistically to certain champions roles, like damage, flank, supports, and front lines. They've been adjusted, and kind of a eagle's eye point of view is that the supports have gone down in health, um, but also maintained their efficacy in terms of healing and being able to do what they can do on the battlefield. Front lines have also lost a little bit of their efficacy to do as much damage as they were doing uh, because they're essentially fat flankers. Uh, damage champions were pretty much in the right spot, so to speak, and a lot of these other changes helped to bolster what they could do already and help them stand out from the pack. And flanks had a little bit more of individual adjustments going towards them. EV and Drox's Talus all seeing some shifts, but hopefully in the right direction for players. Now, guys, my raindrops. There are a lot of changes that went down in this patch, so don't worry. I'm not going to cover them all here. This isn't going to be a 30-minute video. We even said there was a 20 pages of patch notes for balance only uh, this OB68. So there's a lot. You can check them out on forums.paladins.com or you can also go and rewatch the OB68 patch notes show to see some of the visual improvements we made to champions like Androxis, Drogos, Kinesa, Makoa, Willow, and Ying. Notably, Ying getting a big buff for her healing. Uh, Makoa's dredge anchor getting some reduction in its size, making it more difficult to hit. And Androxis getting some of the recoil uh, slash visual feedback adjusted as well as his damage adjusted, but also his mobility on those dashes increased pretty greatly. So a lot of different cool changes. You can check those out on the places I'm in. Now it comes time for you and me. What do we do, guys? What do you guys want to see? What's next? What's the hot topic? I'll be streaming PTS and I'll be doing videos on a lot of these champions, but what's most important to you? This is a great time to leave me a comment. Let me know. I will read through all of them and see what everyone's feeling so we can make sure that we cover that sooner than later. Again, if you guys want to catch me streaming, I'm on Mixer.com slash Rainday. That's Mixer.com slash Rainday. You guys can hit the follow button there. Let's get over a thousand followers on Mixer and also let's have a big party. Let's 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 do it, baby. Let's have fun over there and, and do some live streaming while we check out the PTS when it goes live very soon. Also, great announcement. The PPL starts this weekend, the Paladins Premier League. If you ever wanted to see the best players do the best things, this is the best place uh, to watch. Facebook.com slash Paladins Premier League. I'll leave the link in the description below and that's going to be it for me today. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Can't wait to see you on the weekend if you want to watch me cast. Can't wait to see you here on the channel again when another video pops up soon. And as always, my friends, remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you all in the realm.